Watch a jolly pirate. Watch a jolly pirate. Roger was a jolly pirate. A lousy pirate. He couldn't tell the starboard from the larboard, the windward from the leeward, or the mizzen from the main. You're supposed to be acting. He smiled instead of scowling, and he grinned instead of growling. He always had a yarn to tell or a sea shanty to sing, and he had never struck fear in any sailor's heart. His shipmates called him Jolly Roger. But they did not be mean it nicely. But they didn't mean it nicely. Oh. When there was a serious pirating to be done, the other pirates never wanted Jolly Roger around. If they planned to board an enemy vessel, make a prisoner walk the plank, or bury stolen treasure, they always sent Jolly Roger down to the ship's hold. Jolly Roger, go down to the ship's hold. They didn't make Jolly Roger feel very jolly at all. The pirates on Jolly Roger's ship were the terror of the high seas. Merchant ships fled at the sight of them. Sailors surrendered without a fight. There was only one enemy worthy of their scowls. He was known as the Admiral. The Admiral had vowed to bring every pirate to justice. And at last the day came when he and his sailors attacked Roger's ship. Jolly Roger, of course, was sent below. Jolly Roger, go below. Go below, Jolly Roger. <laughs> Up above the battle began, below Jolly Roger sat wishing he could think of something, anything that would make the other pirates like him. Then he had a wonderful Is idea. He would bake a cake. Jolly Roger, bake a cake. Please come bake a cake for us. Come in here and bake a cake. And the old Jolly Roger spotted something that looked like a big iron pot. He happily dumped everything he could find into the pot and gave it a good stir. Jolly Roger, are you stirring your pot? Mm -hmm. On deck, the cannons boomed and blazed. The pirates bravely fought the admiral's men from port to starboard, from stem to stern. But the pirates were outnumbered. As the pirate captain watched the admiral stride across the deck with his sword held high, he could see that all was lost. He prepared to surrender. In the dim light of the hole, Jolly Roger found a wick, attached the pot he had chosen, struck a match, and set back to wait for his cake to bake. Jolly Roger, are you setting your cake to bake? Yeah. He didn't expect what happened next. Nobody did. Kerpow! Jolly Roger, where are you? Jolly Roger was blown straight through the deck. Come here, Jolly Roger, you were blown straight through the deck. Oh, and in the middle of battle, covered in flour. Cut your covered in flour. He was spotted with suit and he was shrieking in terror. Shriek with terror, Jolly Roger. Shriek with terror. Woo! Shriek! Ah! Shriek with terror, Jolly Roger. Woo! Woo! The Admiral's men had never seen anything like it before. A ghost yelped one. A skeleton hey, screamed another. Hey, 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 you're supposed to dress up as pirates. Abandon ship! Abandon ship! Jolly Roger was sorry about his cake. He tried to explain, but no one would listen. They were too busy cheering. Jolly Roger still couldn't tell the starboard from the larboard, the windward from the leeward, or the mizzen from the main, but his shipmates didn't care. They all loved Jolly Roger. In fact, they made a special flag in his honor. Soon, other pirates began flying the flag. It struck fear in the hearts of sailors across the seven seas. 
Oh, yay, Jolly Roger.